Welcome to Hack and Slash Crafts. Let's cut something up. Alright, do you remember 90s action figure ads with their like endless battles and industrial warehouses and so on? For me, young Matthew, that was just pure magic. There was something lost when they got brought home, though. Uh, it turned into plastic somehow. And I think that's a thing that model railroad people figured out a long time ago. Those little plastic trains work a lot better if they have a context to operate within. A supportive place that um, elevates them to the imagination of what you like to think about when you look at them. This grass is an attempt by me to make a little bit of that for my crafts. It's not much, but it does a lot of things well. The big thing it does well is that the figurines you put on it, the models you put on it, the grass reacts to it. So instead of hovering on it, it it bends under miniature feet, and it flattens under miniature buildings. It can be styled to look like waves of uh, wind, clumps of foliage. My favorite part is that it's not fragile. You can mess with it, you can put things on it, take things off of it, rearrange things. You're not going to mess anything up, unlike flock foliage, where it's going to rub off and shed all over your carpet. This stuff just lets you play with it. And that's honestly what I want. So this is not really a complex craft. It doesn't require a ton of sophistication to make. Uh, it's basically watery paint uh, put on faux fur that I gave the swollen treatment. Um, so yeah, let's just watch some crafting dubstep and uh, I'll meet you at the end of the video.
Yep, that's it. This is part of a larger project that I'm really excited to show you. Next thing I'm gonna be working on is cracked earth or um, like salt flats texture using craft foam. So tune in next time, I'll see you there.